I've been uh, teaching anatomy for so many years now that I strongly associate student progress through the year with the seasons <laughs> and the change in weather. It's, it's really weird. Um, I'll try to explain. We're going to go climbing along this stretch in the shade today because, uh, well, <laughs> like everything around here, we've pretty much done everything but there's a whole bunch of uh, easy things there to tick. Jellyfish are weird animals. This time of year, as the weather starts getting better, I have confidence that student knowledge is really, really good. So at this stage, I've actually finished teaching two of my programs. So those students are pretty much done. They've got exams coming up. And then for the first and second year medics, we've had them since September. They know so much by the time the weather's starting to warm up. So when the weather's getting better, it feels like the students that we have have been with us forever. They know loads of things. Um, and my teaching workload is starting to dip as we get into exam season. Right, uh, the trickiest thing with these is trying to <laughs> start over the rock pools. Around there is where all the tourists will be, so we're not going to go around there. See, it's all the tourists. Of course, that was the route we were talking about. The one we haven't done is called Puskod Wibbly Wobbly. Oh, yeah. And today we're, the beach is covered in Puskod Wibbly Wobblies. I've done the uh, I've done the A4 pulley on that finger, so left hand, weak hand, finger that takes most of the force. What do I mean by A4 pulley? You haven't watched that video, huh? Okay. Um, so the, the pulleys in the fingers, the tying down, the flexor tendons within their synovial sheaths, uh, the A4 pulley, the A2 one's down there, the A4 one and the A2 are the ones most likely to be injured during climbing just because of high loads. I haven't, I haven't been climbing hard recently, I haven't done anything harder than 6B plus recently, have I? So I think it's just on the, the, the fingerboard doing... A fingerboard is a bit of wood with small edges on it and you hang... It's a board tin. Yeah, it's a board for... No, it's not a board made of fingers, a fingerboard. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> so you hang and it makes everything stronger and I guess... I haven't, I haven't increased the volume of that either, I'm just getting well, older. That's weird, you being an anatomist and having a board of fingers. A board of fingers, yeah, so you've got to clear these things up in case people... Um, so that finger is swollen and painful and of course I thought it'd be fine I'll just tape it up and keep going but no I need to stop the fingerboard for a week or two until that eases up so we'll just do some nice easy climbing right? That finger was horrible even hanging the washing and to hang the washing it just completely locked. Yeah. Hang on be ready. Steady. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, yeah. It's a bit sticky, that's you do mind you, that? Made it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a laugh. Um, it's actually... Turns out there's a 6A here and there's a big overhang, so that's fun. Try and dry everything off first. We straight in a rock pool. This is where I mark lots of holds that aren't real holds for Kim. Oh, there's one. There's a hold. Oh yeah! Oh, nice. It's like I'm making it harder than it needs to be. 
just have a bit of a challenge. It's kind of a halt. Oh, there we go. Oh, super. Today's just one of those days where I want to be outside all day. Uh, oh, and the question here is, what am I going to get dropped into? Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's fine. Because we live here, where we climb and what we climb tends to get dictated by the, the state of the tide, the time of the tide and the weather. And today, it just happens to be a nice low tide. Um, early afternoon, so that means we should go and take a look at things we haven't taken in Brazil, right? Yeah? We're a bit hit and miss these routes, but the, the view's good, and we're getting absolutely minging. I mean, we do this all the time, and stuff's still covered in. Yeah, still can't keep up with clean on this beach. Um, so compare this time of year to the autumn, right? So as the summer is ending, and the weather's getting a little bit wetter, it's getting a little bit colder, days are getting a little bit shorter, you're starting to notice it. That's when I know that I'm getting fresh meat, fresh meat for the grinder. New students with little knowledge, they need to be filled with knowledge. Or we've got students coming back into the second year and I'm going to fill them up to the brim, <laughs> give them more knowledge. And I know it's going to be a really, really, really busy time of year with lots of teaching, lots of <laughs> squeezing that knowledge into students. This route was okay. Tide's coming in. A bit of a thinky one, this one. I even got a heel hook on it. Ran me away. Did it never pick mm. up on that and then? It what did. I was, there? I was like, I was using the arete and it needed some sneaky footwork. Yeah, because I don't. Tide's in. We've been washed off, cut off now. And because it's a busy day, all the other climbers are getting compacted into those bays, so. Uh, I think that's enough for us. That's a bunch of new tips in the book that we haven't done before. Uh, and we'll go and get a cup of coffee and stuff. And as the days noticeably get short and you start going to work in the dark and coming home in the dark and it's cold and it's miserable and we're getting towards, getting into winter, getting towards Christmas, you can feel the shift that students know stuff and you know the students because they've been here long enough and you've seen them every week and you're comfortable with each other now and then we move into like the first few sets of exams and then and then it's spring uh, and then we're into this again yeah so i don't know it's just a sense i felt that as the weather changes as the year changes my sense of the students that i work with changes it's almost like i can sense how much a student knows about anatomy by the weather <laughs> Nice to be out, main aim is to be out all day, not go home, don't want to go home, not going home. We'll just find something else to do now the tide is coming and wash us off. Ah, it's such a nice weekend.